All right, here we are on Route 23. No big deal. Let's uh, start exploring. Your Pokemon, not in perfect condition. Come, don't be so reserved. Take a rest. So this way we don't have to go all the way back to uh, Lacunosa Town. Yes, the team of you and your Pokemon can go as far as you want. So let's uh, actually start exploring the route. Mm. Let's see what item we have here. It is a heart scale. So let's uh, continue north to find a battle girl. Your Pokemon must be really something if you're here on Route 23. Alright, so she has a level 57 Pokemon, so... This probably isn't too good for me. I guess I could poison it. Awesome. Hopefully it keeps on using Endure over and over. Until I actually get to the point where it should need to use Endure. And I guess the cool thing about Poison is the fact that it doesn't... Uh, it's not really affected by level, to be honest. Because it always does a certain fraction of their total health. So, anyway, let's continue on here. I guess I could throw out my dousing machine. And now it's telling me there's something over to the left, although it's probably up above. So, false alarm. I keep a tally of all of the times that I have won or lost up until today. If I battle against you, I wonder which number will be increased. Uh, losing. For sure. I'll try to, uh... Oh, that sucks. Because <clears throat> I really don't want to use poison gas over and over. So, I might as well just, uh... Go ahead and switch. And I'll just use Outrage. Fortunately, my Arcanine is kind of like a, a little bit of a no-brainer Pokemon. It really doesn't matter what moves I use. Because he just does so much damage. So now we have a Jellicent, which is kind of not good for me. Unless this magically knocks it out, but it doesn't. Ouch. And one last outrage will do it, so. There we go. So my number of losses went up. Of course, dude, I'm just too much for you. And there's an item up there, but we won't be able to get up there for a little bit here. Hi-ho. 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 Playing Pokemon. I am... That didn't really work, but... Oh.
Hi ho, hi ho. You're as stupid as a slow bro. Now that really doesn't do too much. Let's see here, who could I use? I guess I could switch into Superior, which I'll probably do, now that I'm confused. And also my Arcanine could probably use a good healing at the moment. And I think this will probably leave it with a little bit of health, yeah, unfortunately. And it pretty much can't do anything to me other than paralyze me. Hi ho! Once you've reached the top of a peak, there is no place to go but down. Life is full of ups and downs. Alright, so let's see, there is a house over here. Also a hidden item. which it looks like we can't actually get to until we get Waterfall. Oh, I wasn't expecting a visitor in a place like this. This is the least I can do. Take this. Do, 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 do. And we get TM35 Flamethrower. I kept challenging the Pokemon League, and I kept losing. Now it's just one Pokemon in me. I really can't kick the bucket and leave this Pokemon. Whoa. Alright, so let's walk up these stairs to the upper area. And we see an ace trainer. This is the Concerto. <clears throat> I perform with my most beloved Pokemon. Is it Concerto or Concerto? I don't know. I'm not that classy. Let's see how much damage I can do here with Sludge Bomb. Quite a bit, actually. Considering it has, like, seven levels on me. Oh, cool. That recoil is probably what's going to put it over the edge to get knocked out. So, lucky me. Ooh, Galvantula, who I should be super effective against. Or not. 
For some reason, I was thinking poison is uh, super effective against bug. I guess it just must be that poison is uh, has like a resistance to bug type moves. All right, so I'm gonna heal up here because my Pokemon are getting pretty low on health. And my superior is still paralyzed, so I'll fix that. And now we can go left or right. And I believe the right should probably be a dead end. And it is. So there we get a rare candy in those little uh, swaying flowers. So that's good. And now we can go off south to find an Amoongus which is always annoying, for me at least. But, on the other hand, it's a pretty free experience, so... As long as it doesn't, like, paralyze you or poison you. And that's not too good. So, let's see here. I'll just send out my big old arcane And, of course, I get paralyzed. So I'm going to go ahead and switch, not really switch, but fix that real quick. And we are yet again off to explore more. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Finally. So here is the dude to battle do this. I just won a battle back there, so I'm feeling good. Black Belt Luke. It's kind of odd that all trainers that you find always have full health uh, Pokemon. Even though in reality, especially in this battle, how he said, hey, I just won a battle back there. Well, his Pokemon should probably have some sort of ding and scratches going on, you know. But, I guess Pokemon isn't necessarily about realism. If you know what I'm saying, so... Oh, whatever. I'm in a terrible mood now. Oh, cool. He actually keeps moving, which I guess kind of makes sense, considering that area is uh, easily congested. So I think we can go over here, and there may be something cool. And it looks like there is. And I don't think we actually need to use cut here. I think you can just, like, keep on walking down and around. Yeah. So... You don't really actually need to use cut there, but... And in the end, it's just a star piece anyway. So I'll just double check down here, make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope. And then over here, we can still go down. And bam, we get an iron. And down here is a Pokemon Ranger. I've been waiting for this. Waiting for this very moment. Please don't tell me you're going to rape me.
So we got a Stunfisk, one of the ugliest Pokemon ever. If I had to make a top five list, it would probably be in there. And I think I'll just go with uh, Superior. So I'll get my Leaf Blade on. And just one more attack, although it won't hit. So I'll use Growth instead. Ouch. And now I can use Leaf Blade one more time. Ooh, and I can level. And I can learn Gastro Acid. Which I will pass on right now. And an Amoongus. Which my Arcanine will be perfect for. I've been waiting for this, waiting to give a gift to someone. Oh, cool. A citrus berry. I've been lying in wait for ages beside a hidden item, and Amoongus couldn't have pulled off a better ambush, right? Do, 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 do. We get TMO5 Roar, which can kind of throw off your opponent's game by making them switch to a new Pokemon, or by giving wild Pokemon the boot. So now there's still this entire area over here. And there's a hidden item up there. But, to get up there, we have to go over to the left first. Oh, trainer, embarking on the path to Victory Road, won't you show me your true power? If you ask nicely. Go with Sludge Bomb. And I might gain a level. Oh, snap, I did. And now we have Lucario, which is fighting and steel. Hmm. I could use my Arcanine to knock it out. That is not good. 
but I will undoubtedly be faster than it. And I will undoubtedly knock it out with that. Although I may knock myself out. And I did. <laughs> we even got some experience though, I guess. So that's good. If you have that much power though, I'm sure that you can use one of these. And we get another citrus berry. If you climb the stairs, you'll reach the badge check gates. Victory Road lies right before you. Alright, so I'm going to throw down my bicycle as it's turning into night. Which makes for a pretty cool looking video if you ask me. But I need to go heal my Pokemon. Now that Arcanine is uh, kind of knocked out and all of their PP is pretty low. So it'll just make it a bit easier, I think. Do, do, do. All right, so we're back outside now. And let me try to get my lighting in check. There we go. And shortly here, we'll be back to where we were. All right, so I'll hop off my bike. And looks like we need to use cut here. So now we're off to an entirely new area of this uh, route, which is pretty crazy. So let's use strength to kind of make our way into this boulder puzzle, although I don't think we can really do much of anything at the moment. Yeah, so we have to go through this forest, which is a bit like a maze. Ooh, an Amolga. I think I will just pass up this opportunity right now, to be honest. So I have... Oh, really? I can't get away? That's kind of dumb. I got three levels on you, dude. Come on. Let me go. Thank you. All right, so we can go over here to find a hidden Ultra Ball. And let's continue back over this way to get into a battle with an Ace Trainer who kind of blends in with these trees. An Ace Trainer, like me, has pride, so I won't lose. We'll see about that, dude. Alrighty. I'll be sludge bombing this dude if I survive. Uh, barely. I'll just switch into Arcanine because that way it'll pretty much take no damage from whatever fire type move Magmar may be spitting out. Cool. And then from there, eh, let's use Crunch. And now we got a Mammo Swine. And there it goes. I cannot protect my pride. I'm mortified. All right, let's check out this way first. 
Boom. Let's fight. So now this guy just so happened to uh, strategically block off my path. And I just realized I forgot to heal up my Weezing. So I should probably just switch him out. Doo -doo. And I guess I could throw out my Ampharos. and discharge all over his face. For the KO. And I think after this black belt, I know there's like a hiker somewhere to battle. And I think that may be the last trainer in the route. So. Now we gotta go all the way around. And naturally we hit an Audino patch that I didn't want to hit. So hopefully it at least lets me run away, unlike the Umoga. Sweet. And now I am reminded to heal my Pokemon, which I wish there was a way to heal my Pokemon without having to disable my uh, dousing machine because it's kind of annoying to bring up the menu and in the process kind of cancel out the dousing machine and then I have to bring back the dousing machine and eh, whatever. Kind of annoying. So let's go this way where we will find a hiker. Of course that's... oh, never mind. Looks like I can just go left. And we get an Amoongus. Blah. always psyching me out. I see an item, or what I think is an item, and I'm like, oh boy, it's an item. And it's like, oh hell no. I'm an Amoongus. I'm gonna poison your ass. And then I get saddened. But, such is life, I guess. Sometimes you think you have a cool item right at your feet, and then you try to pick it up, and then it's some, like, monstrosity of a mushroom. So, we might as well uh, battle this hiker while we're here. Hey there, future champion. Hey there, guys. Hiker Doug. Shoutouts to the 90s. Shoutouts to Nickelodeon. Hey, dog funny. I'm gonna throw out my Giga Drain. Drain my Gigas in to my body or something. Gain all that health back. And one more time for good measure. Ouch. Now we got an Agron. Oh. Time to bump it up, use some leaf blade.
And I guess I'll just keep on using Leaf Blade. Not too much else I can do. I don't have any water fighting or ground moves to speak of, really. And Grass is like one of the few attack types that actually does some kind of damage against Aggron, considering he's a Steel type, and Steel types have, you know, just an insane amount of, uh, you know, of resistances, so. And now I'm going to switch to Giga Drain, and hopefully I'll be able to get some kind of uh, damage back. And there you go. I did a bit more damage. Which makes sense because it looks like his defense is over double the amount of his uh, special defense. So I should have been using Giga Drain that whole time. But anyway. So now we can go this way, which will, I believe, lead to behind this guy. And... And so, let's see. How the hell do I get over there? Ah, I didn't even notice. So now i got to go all the way around again, because this place is like a crazy maze, and just the way that I'm playing is really weird, and I kind of can't really see the screen, but I can, and it's kind of difficult. So we got to go all the way back here. And right here, you can go behind the trees, and we can pick up this item which is an HP up, which actually is kind of worth it. Because it's like one of the most expensive items in the game. So, now let's go all the way back to that hiker. Which is over this way, actually. Alright, so now we're back. And now we can go all the way around here, this winding path. It's like a maze. And... Ugh. Find another Audino. God. Why are you bothering me today? Man, yeah, I keep on walking into these things. And it happened into, like... It happened at Giant Chasm, too. I fucking had, like, five of them in, like, the span of a minute, pretty much. All right, so... There we go. We need calcium. And that's all, that's hopefully at least, oh my god, uh, at least it makes sense here because there's like a single row or a single column of grass, so it makes sense for me to be walking into it, but like, at the giant chasm, it, there wasn't any excuse. I was just like walking through an entire patch of grass, and I just so happened to find the one patch over and over and over that was screwing me over, so let's see. We can be pushing some rocks over here. Uh, 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 uh. Except I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing with this. Never mind. Although, maybe not never mind. I think potentially I should be able to go... Yeah, around. Yeah, there we go. And now I can go over here and push it once. And I can go back over here and surf. Man, this is a really tedious area. Like, a lot of walking around and doing the same shit. Just in a different way, pretty much. And it's only this one area of Route 23. It probably, like, doubles the amount of time you have to play to get through it. So, there we go. Hooray! I did it! And even then, that didn't really do much of anything. Uh, because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't press that one down. So now I can, actually, I can't go back over there. So, oh well. Yeah, in that case, well actually in that case I can't even get over there. So hopefully I can like walk over a ledge or something. Yeah, okay, well, let's check this out. It's a green shard. And let's check out the other one while we're at it. And it's an Amoongus. Hopefully I can run away. Sometimes, kids, you just have to run away from your, from your problems. That's what Pokemon taught me. So 
Now we can do this, which I guess this doesn't really matter. Oh my god. This really doesn't matter that much because I don't really need to uh, have some sort of like shortcut or whatever, but oh well. So at least it's a Pokemon that isn't like, you know, Emolga or Audino, which is the one that always happens. Oh my god. I just want to get away. That's all I want to do. I don't want you, Glitzor. Thank you. I probably hurt its feelings by saying I I just don't want it. This relationship isn't working anymore, baby. Alright, so now I can push down a boulder. Hooray. Except now I have to go all the way around again. Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, cool. Another trainer. Challenging the Pokemon League, huh? It's no wonder you might feel a bit nervous, but you've got to believe in your Pokemon and do it. I'm pretty sure in, like, Red and Blue, all the trainers were out to, like, destroy you. And now all of a sudden, they're like, hey, you can do it, dude. You can do anything you set your mind to, Pokemon. Whereas before, it was like, yo, I'm going to slit your throat. Let's battle. Pokemon. A little bit of a difference. Oh snap, it's an Arcanine Mirror Match! An Arcanine Mirror Match! What shall I use? I shall use Outrage! Oh, snap. And, yeah, I think this area is partially just, uh, you know, tedious because of the maze-like stuff, but it's also probably just uh, the fact that I'm kind of terrible at this area. Just, like, doing a bad job. All right, so now I can push this over here. Yay! Which, again, I don't even... Oh, actually, I do know I did that. So I can do this, even though I... Actually, never mind. That was pointless. I'll admit it. Um, let's see. And actually, what I need to do is... How the hell did I get over there before? I have no clue what's going on. I am just uh, stumped right now. Yeah, I really have absolutely no clue how the hell I got over there before. It's very odd. Yeah, so what I needed to do was actually push that down, except now I can't. Except it, again, doesn't really matter. So, um, yeah. Oh, now I see what I have to do. So you know what? Let's reset that. Boom. And then we shall walk back, as to not trigger any events that I don't want to trigger yet. So let's go back, which I have to cut this tree to do. And I'll show how to actually do this, I think. Alright, so what I need to do is walk right here, use strength to push it over once, so that way it is no longer blocked by the boulder below it. And then I can just smack it in there, walk over here, and hit this over here. 
So I kind of made it a hell of a lot more complicated than it really was. So still got the dousing machine going down. I'll dodge her for now. Although there's an item over here. And I just barely missed her. So there's a max potion. And I might as well battle her. Oh, a person. I haven't met another person in so long. You're a trainer, aren't you? Then let's battle. I'm so lonely. Oh, so lonely. And she's got herself a girder. And I got myself a weezing. So let's see which one's better by attacking each other. Why don't we smash each other's heads into one another to see who's the strongest? I think that's how uh, Gurgers solve their problems. They just headbutt each other, and whoever is left without a concussion is the winner. I think that's what the uh, what the sixth gen Pokedex uh, entry is going to say. Or at least that's what I would vote for. Oh, snap me and shall. You and your long sleeves are going down. It's just preparing for the winter. So now, let's continue on over here, and we're super high up now, but fortunately, I am not afraid of heights. And we get a PP up, and now we can figure out where the hell this last item is, which is over here. Bam! And we get TM12 Taunt. And we're uh, slowly but surely filling up our TM case. So that is everything in this route. So let's uh, continue on and go to Victory Road. Although I guess technically I can go through the area that leads to Victory Road first. So let's go through here and uh, actually, you know what? I will just save this for next time. So I'll see you then when I explore Victory Road, the pinnacle of area.